You know? Yes. <laughs> Check yourself. Okay. It's true. I thought you were bringing hankies for a second there. All right. Hey, everybody. What would you think of those? <laughs> Great. I, I will tell you that we there, there was a whole audience here before that I kicked out because they had young children who would not be able to appreciate the Spanish or the French gotcha. of the last two films. Right, so so they were given the option. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, so you, I wanted to first of all hear from the audience a little bit their reactions, um, favorites, um, um, uh, least favorites. Can we do a quick yeah. show of hands? Yeah, to kind of sure. like run through them. Um, I got them listed here. Let's see if I remember the the, uh, the order. The order. Macropolis. That was the one with the uh, the dog and the cat. Yeah. Dog and the dog cat. Dog and the cat animated. Like Macropolis? You can vote multiple times. Yeah. By the way, All right. this is not a. And, and nobody from the films are here, so uh, you can you, you know, be as you don't have to vote. Exactly. All right. Um, uh, chimes for Tyler. Chimes for Tyler. Woodstock. Yeah. Fans. Okay. okay. Um, little hero. Little hero. Little hero. You like little hero? Um, uh, am I skipping any? Then I got oh, super sounds. Super, super sounds. Sound, the super uh, sounds. Boy on the bike. Yeah, it's the bike. Okay. The cape. I love that yeah. cape. I want that cape. Okay. And then we have the tales of the golden sand. Tales of the golden sand. I yeah. A big one. Yeah. I like we appreciated uh, the French, and um, of course uh, the last one, strings. 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 Okay. Great. Okay. We, okay. I think I think they approved all. Of I them. think they approved. <laughs> I think we we've got a, we got a good selection there. So uh, it looks like we got questions. You want to jump right to it? Uh, just a, que a Yeah. Qu use the mic so folks c everybody can hear. Um, a, a question for Yitzi. Um, these films were from all over the world. Would, did was that did that just come out of the selection process, or did you intentionally want to choose these films coming from all over um, the world? Because it was clear. They were from everywhere. I mean, diversity is our middle name here at the festival, so um, it's all over the world, all genres, all, right? We had documentary, we had feature, fiction, I have, we have features, we have fiction, we have every different kind of short. Um, the truth is, we, we have, I think, I, I don't remember the number of shorts here, you'll see in our program, we have a lot of shorts and we divided them into three different programs. We managed to find this group that were all kind of family friendly, and it really worked out that way that they have uh, this uh, extra diversity there as far as both, I think, themes, styles, um, type of disability, um, approaches to life. It's really just you get you get a, and that's personally why I like the the short films. Is really you get a taste of everything, or of a lot of things at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah excellent. What do you think about that that kind of diversity within the selection? For me? Yeah, yeah. It was. It's enriching. I mean, I, I would just say I, I agree with the idea of I like seeing lots of little things. It's like going out to a restaurant and having nothing but appetizers. So um, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's uh, it's nice to see things with subtitles. It's nice to see things with kids. It's nice to see things uh, with you know different actors. The diversity was very refreshing. So fantastic, great. Glad you enjoyed. Uh, others, yeah. Well, hey, what's what? your name? Philip. Philip. Hey, how's it going? Good. Okay. Well, why wasn't it a movie? Why wasn't it a movie? Yeah. Why was it a lot of little? Why was it a little? Why was it a lot of little films? movies? Yeah. Why was it a little <laughs> bit of film? So um, m movies, <laughs> movies come in all shapes and sizes, like uh, just like, like people, people, actually. Yeah. yeah. And uh, mm. and um, these and a lot of movies are made short because I personally like short movies because I can't concentrate for a long time on long movies. It, uh, I I don't know if anybody else is with me on that, but um, definitely my <laughs> short attention um, is, is allows me to definitely connect better to the short ones. And they have to be told differently, actually. If you'll notice, like, you know, short films, and I, I, we showed here a film that it was four minutes long and manages to bring out emotions within short minute, within four minutes, which means that you have to hit the ground running with short films. You have to immediately jump into the action and develop a character and develop a narrative and um, get to dramatic twists and turns all within a very short period of time, which is truly uh, equal art, as far as an art form, to 
the great directors who develop um, uh, the feature films. Yeah. And I think after you start watching a lot of these, you can't go back to features. Yeah, I think it's exactly true. I always sort of grab Yitzi when they, when they have me come up for Real Abilities every year and say, please, please, please put me with the short programs because it's always my favorite um, batch of the bunch because you can get so many different things within a short amount of time, right? So with a regularly, uh, regularly linked film, uh, you get one movie. But with, if you put a bunch of short movies together, you get five or six different things all at once. And then there's much more for me to think about at the end of the screening than there is just with one movie. So I like that. It keeps me entertained. Did you like them? Yeah. Okay. And, and since you asked, I'm going to get into the real nitty gritty of it. Um, sometimes the, the guys who are making the movies, the filmmakers, um, actually don't have the budget, don't have the money to make a full length feature film. And um, therefore, they have to make it, they have to make a shorter film because that's all they um, have the money for. And um, they make it short and uh, hope that it's short and sweet and people enjoy it. Yeah, and a lot of times the people that make short movies are using them kind of as testers so that they can get the experience and the credibility and the money to make a longer movie. So if they can show people that they can make a really good short movie, then maybe they get to make a longer one later. Or another short one. Or another short one, <laughs> or a few other short ones. I'll yeah. mention that the, the folks who made uh, Strings um, had made, the Strings, of course, is an award-winning film, um, but they also had made another short before that that won awards and allowed them to make Strings. Um, why in the last show did you make it did you like put it um why did you choose such like a dramatic movie and like just at the end why did you choose it it's yours Yitzi. our selection of order <laughs> for this one was um was really actually here's how our selections go if you ever want to follow the process mm -hmm. we try to start strong and end strong and uh we started with Macropolis, which i think is fun strong i i loved it that the audience applauded like before it ended because you know just at the at the climax of the of the um uh, of the short and um i think that uh, strings is also one of the stronger more enjoyable ones we also had two foreign language films uh, meaning in spanish and in french that we knew not everybody could appreciate so not everybody would stay for so we let uh, those go at the end it also worked out that the last film would be one that not every i think kid can, can or sh or wants to appreciate at whatever times does that make sense if you were programming, would you do it that way? Yeah, it, it's okay. a science. It's a real okay. science making the order for these. <laughs> yeah, is, is someone traveling? Who's got the traveler? Oh, okay. Um, oh, hi. It seems hi. that this row has taken. Yeah, that over row is really, really got it. They're on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, why did you choose um Spanish and French at the end? Like, what? What made you choose the different languages at the end, and what made them be French and Spanish? Uh, well, they were the they were the best of the ones that we got, right? So the, the so we had to pick from all the different movies that were sent to us, and so those two kind of at the very end were the were the best of the foreign language ones that we got for families. So we wanted to show them along with the other ones. Does that make sense? Yeah. I would also say that those last two, even if you don't speak French or Spanish and can't read the subtitles, they're so visual that you could probably follow. I, I personally sometimes, um, I, I think I'll follow movies that are very visual without actually understanding the dialogue. Yeah. What do you got here? Um, I agree completely. I really appreciated that there were uh, a broad range of subjects that were approached from different mediums. And I wouldn't place one above another. I would say the reason I like shorts is sometimes I like to read a sh uh, compilation of short stories. Yeah, and sometimes exactly. I'm in the mood for a novel, and it doesn't mean one is better than the other. Um, I, as a parent, I, I was actually really concerned. You made me so concerned about those last two movies that, like, I was, you know, had a little bit of anxiety about it, and compared to uh, like news reports and everything that kids <laughs> are, you know, it was like I was waiting for something like, you know, really um, terrible or or something that would impact a kid psychologically. Dramatic was the word I, I tried yeah, to dramatic. use. I, I didn't yeah, know dramatic. how to do like, without you know, spoiling. How many anything. times are you going to announce like you should probably leave because uh, it's going to be dramatic? Uh, um, 
So I would really encourage, uh, how else are we going to find out about death? How else are we going to find about, out about um, people who have different abilities? You know, do we, do we shun them? Do we put them away in, in some place where we're not willing to at least look? You know, and 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 well, and that was sort of the, that was the I think that was the theme and the and the message, if you want to say the message of the French film, right, was that we're all better off when we kind of embrace life as it is and and work toward inclusion. You know, which I think was great. Yeah, they all yeah. had kind of that theme. Thank you, yeah. and thank yeah. you very much for including them. And don't dissuade people anymore I, I, from I would I would foreign films, everybody... foreign languages, or dramatic endings. Please. I, I especially want Americans to see more foreign films, especially children. It's a great way to learn a lo another language, learn reading skills and just appreciate other cultures um, I do I appreciate that every parent needs to make the choices for their children and therefore be be warned for that we've got his back right excellent yeah. okay yeah. And, right. and and the other thing about short films you know unless you go to uh, film festivals or a regular kind of consumer of these sorts of things it's really tough to see them you know so you you have a golden opportunity at real abilities to kind of catch films that you might not be able to see otherwise. Some of these other films get picked up on cable or DVD or whatever, um, um, but the short films are really hard to see, so it's, it's really a pleasure. And there's no commercials, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. I felt like in the French film there was a, probably a good backstory to like uh -huh. who those kids were and why those kids made the film, so I'm interested in hearing the backstory. I read a little bit, um, and uh, there is a, a website for the film, so you could uh, you could look it up, and uh, you'll have to Google Translate because it's in French. Um, but uh, it was made, and it's one of the things that's wonderful about this film, and we don't see enough of this. It was made completely in a collaboration between um, filmmakers and um, a, a school of uh, children with disabilities from age four to eighteen. I think 140 of them participated in this process, writing the story, acting making the film it's it's unbelievable and and it's it's beautiful it's a beautiful film very imaginative um, has a lot of elements of like some like older silent films and then uh, animated films all together at once it is so cinematic i love also kind of the the style of storytelling that they chose and how it just kind of works seamlessly i think with the children that are in it and and with their they they fit into into that world the animation is gorgeous um, it was all basically shot, if you want to know the technology, I mean, it was all shot with green screen, green screen. and um, uh, I guess I guess that makes the process today, the digital process, makes it somewhat easier, um, but really, I, I applaud this uh, group for, for bringing it together and making it, and um, and on their website, actually, they're so proud that they're at the at this festival, um, I, I was just on their homepage, and they put up a picture of, um, of their ship going to New York, um, <laughs> so, so I guess, I guess we're a part of this now. <laughs> they, they are not here, unfortunately. Sadly, you couldn't bring 140. We didn't bring in people. the 140. Also, in general, we have got other unreal abilities. We try to bring people in for every film. For the short films, um, uh, we, we kind of um, I can't bring people in and just invite and hope that they will come and then we'll help them come. But uh, um, uh, we have a lot of short films and it would mean having a lot more people here. Yeah. It seems this year you seem a lot of have a focus on children not only seeing disabilities but how children perceive it and sometimes it's very different from adults and sometimes uh, adults sometimes try to assume what kids think but I'm glad that you had like something like Z like the Xander film where, where, where kids are actually expressing how they, how they feel about their siblings and how they feel about uh, uh, other, other kids who might have disabilities so, so thank, you for, thank you for that. Yeah, that's definitely what I love about Little Hero is that it's the voice of a sibling, it's a voice of a child and um, that's something that we don't hear enough and is definitely a big part of the experience. And I think it can open up all kinds of avenues for conversation and understanding. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we have over here. Um, why did you choose um, these movies? Because um, there's many, many movies, so why did you choose these? <laughs> um, we do we do get a lot of films actually we got over a thousand submissions to the festival this year and uh, we try to choose the best ones that we enjoy the most and that we feel 
present things in the best way. And, and, that, and I think that mix it up a little bit, show different perspectives and different ways of thinking and different ways of telling a story. So we try to give people uh, uh, you know, an opportunity to catch all the different ways that maybe a, a short film can be made. Did you like the differences? Did you, what did you think about them? They were, they were good? Okay, good. Um, we have uh, one more question there in the middle. I talk about cat and dog. The, um, what was that one called? The Macropolis. Macropolis, yeah. I have a question about that. Yeah. Um, my cat have an eye. Why did the cat not have an eye? Yeah. It, I think fell off in the factory as uh, he was being made. He or she, I don't know. I guess it's a he. Um, yeah, I think it was a he. I, I will tell you that the uh, that um, so the, the film was made. I'm trying to remember now. It was either in Ireland, Northern, or Northern Ireland. It was Belfast. Yeah, it was Belfast. And uh, it's a beautiful process, of course, to make them. They really shoot the real streets, so the camera crew goes out to the streets, and then they animate onto the streets the cat and the dog, and the animator in the film. Um, um, I, I don't know what kind of uh, disability he has, but um, compares himself to the dog in the film and says that that's him. So he based that character on himself. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very um, uh, sweet film that had a really great process as far as making, making it and uh, making it uh, look very unique and very real. Yeah, and I think sometimes, you know, just like people, right, cats sometimes have one eye and sometimes dogs use little wheelchairs to get around and, you know, there's like a whole variety of different ways that people and, and animals and animated critters all are. Uh, the, the important thing is, is that they all have a place on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, do we <laughs> do we want to take uh, one more? One more. Let's one. check our let's check our time because we do have a six o'clock film yeah. here that I hope you're all staying for. Um, one, time for one more. One more. You're keeping him running. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. How come the films were like, most of them were like, with no talking? How come it was like, how come they weren't talking? Uh, some of the films were silent. I love that in movies. Um, first of all, that means that the, whoever made them is a good filmmaker. Because when you're watching movies, it's all, it, it's a big part. You have visual and you have sound. You see things and you hear things. Um, it's very much, movies are very much a visual language, and to learn to tell a story without using any words is an amazing talent and um, can really be done well in movies. It also makes it accessible to absolutely everyone, no matter where you're from in the world. You don't have to know English, French, Spanish, whatever language you speak, um, you can appreciate a movie um, if it's not in one language. And I think the filmmakers v actually purposely sometimes do that. And that's some way to make that film uh, something everybody can enjoy, right? Because you don't have to be speaking the same language. You can still enjoy it and appreciate it. Um, before we finish, I, I have one question for Lawrence, because there's oh. one film that didn't come up here much, which was uh, Super Sounds. Yes. Um, the, uh, Two kids on the bikes. Um, um, uh, the one with the cape and the, the, cape the girl and with the bike the in the girl, comic he, book. He puts on his hearing aids at the end. Uh, um, she, and the glasses, right? She, she can't see very well. Um, what are your thoughts on that one? I, I love that film. I think visually it's very stunning. You know, you get the shots of the boy on the bike on the beach with the cape kind of flapping in the, in the breeze there and, and the shots of her on the bike with the wheel wobbling around. Um, uh, one of the things I noticed about this year's selections in particular that film is, is, it seems the quality of the filmmaking has gotten better. Just, just they're using a lot of the cinematic elements that you see in other films um, to help tell that story. And, and all of those sort of took those characters and, you know, because you wondered maybe why uh, he wasn't responding to her and was he ignoring her and what was going on, right? And, and all, as all was sort of revealed there at the end, um, it just brought it together in a gorgeous, gorgeous way. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of that film. I really like it. I want that cape. 
<laughs> I, could, I could get you a cape. Okay, all right. Um, um, yeah, I, I am a big fan of that one. I think there's a great lesson on bullying there, too, and uh, has a lot of places in a school. I think also the fact that that one's pretty much silent. There's a couple of lines at the, the end. Well, you don't really hear anything until he puts his hearing aids in. Right, right. right. So yeah. you, you, are, you are in his world the entire time, and, the, and you're actually going through kind of a, an experience of someone who possibly has hearing losses going through. Um, there's a lot of effects there with the sound. And, uh, and but also just the, it also lends very well to making it family friendly, making it universal, making it accessible. It's a, a film that really anyone can immediately get and tells a, a sweet and very heroic story. I mean, here's a kid who dreams about being a superhero and um, then uh, makes this uh, choice to really tear up his cape. Sorry, you're, you're, you're not yeah. getting that one. Yeah, you're not getting that one. I'll, I'll make my, you know, so he'll, t- he'll take his cape oh. to help someone else, and that's really what being a superhero is. And, and I and think that comes through, that he made the sacrifice for this girl who was looking out for him. Right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. And this girl appreciates. She sees. She's able. She's sensitive to his frustrations when he's throwing those stones into the ocean. She knows what this boy has been th- through and why he's alone and how he's been bullied and why he's upset and how to make him happy. And the and the real the reveal happens right there at the end, like all at once. So it, it's just a beautiful, beautiful culmination of different things. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for Thank appreciating. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Yitzi. Um, and our next film.